Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Um, I, I'm not sure why I've, I've had no coffee, so apparently we had to start with an um. It's a little after 7, and I just crashed last night, as you guys probably imagined. Um, oh, jeez. Drives me crazy when YouTube changes things. They've changed the way the YouTube studio looks on, and you can go back to... Um, the old way if you want to do it but it's just I can't find anything in the new layout anyway so I am uploading yesterday's vlog I just crashed <laughs> we ate dinner and then that was pretty much it I just I just had nothing left so um I went to bed I, I tried to take I went to bed last night without taking any pain pills any Advil or Advil PM and it didn't go as as well as I hoped it would but so far this morning, I really just have, you know, normal, what I would guess is normal residual pain. I'm a week out today from, my, from removal. You know, just kind of a little, little soreness on this side. So what I initially thought yesterday, you know, was maybe some dry socket over here. I don't think it is. I, uh, I, I don't know about up here anymore, but anyway, basically all the pain is pretty much right here. And it's fine. I go back today at 3.50. We're not going to spend a whole... Vlog was talking about my ding dang wisdom teeth pain again. So, uh, to, today I have just normal work stuff, and then, like I said, I have my appointment at 3:50. So, I'm not going, <clears throat> not planning on taking lunch. Going to work through my lunch and then leave so I can be on time for my appointment. And currently, I'm uploading the vlog. Like I crashed so much that I didn't get the vlog uploaded. I'm trying to have them uploaded by nine in the morning. I don't know that it matters so much to you guys. You can tell me if it does, if it matters what time that I have it uploaded. But it just seems to be that the last couple of ones were around 9 o'clock. I think the first one was later in the day. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to try to shoot for 9 o'clock in the morning central time. And we will see how that goes. <laughs> so I just edited that and I'm working on the filling out the description box and have some coffee here and go and put some makeup on my face. Today, this is just kind of a day two. I didn't feel like it because I didn't sleep super well. <laughs> Hairdo. So I did normally I pin my bangs on this side, um, but I just pulled it. They weren't working well or whatever. So I just swung more to the other side, shoved a pin in them and then have it in a, just in a kind of lowish, mid to lowish pony. That's all that's going on with my hair today. And, um, and it got a little bit, the size got a little bit wetter than normal when I was taking my shower, you know, under my little cap. But anyway, it's just one of those days where the, this is what my hair's going to look like. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make some coffee. I'm going to go put on some makeup. I'm, I don't, I'm not really feeling like I have enough energy for a live today, so I'm not going to do a live. And yeah, I'll just see you guys in a little bit. Um, a couple of you had asked that I would share what the coffees were. So yesterday I had the gingerbread coffee and that was okay. I want to say this, by the way. So, oh, I stuck that in here. But the one, this is the one that was in like kind of that ivory packaging that I bought online. The one that people have seen at Big Lots, at um, Hobby Lobby and a couple other places. I don't find, it's good, but it's not, the coffee isn't as good in my opinion as the one that comes in the blue packaging that I got at Aldi or, you, or some of you have sent me in the past from Aldi. I feel like that's a little bit better um, level of coffee, whatever, my brain's not working today. So I just wanted to mention that I feel like um, this coffee is good, but it's not as good. And there aren't as many flavors. A lot of these are just like a French roast, so it's just like a plain French roast or... Um, like this one is just the donut blend coffee or uh, donut shop blend coffee or whatever. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys so that you knew. So I am actually um, saving some of my favorite ones here for the for the end. And as you know, I'm saving the Aldi one for a little bit. So today I'm going to go with the French, oops, as I drop it, I'm going to go with the French roast um, with just my frosted sugar cookie creamer. All right, it's about 9.30 and I am just taking a break to eat something. I am um, to bed. I move things around a little bit. I'm gonna have some of the Kodiak pancakes. Um, I put the stuff in here. I don't even think I have a box to show you guys because I think I'm. Let me look. No, I think I'm on my last couple of bags of it. Um, I buy by the box and then I take the bags out of the box. But anyway, uh, 
they you guys i'm sure you've heard the kodiak if you haven't i'll try to find a picture or something to stick in here i'll link something below um it has it's a protein um pancake mix and you just mix it with water so anyway the the um serving size is a half a cup i use a quarter of a cup because a half a cup is too much, so you can't eat all of that at one time. So I do a half a cup, or excuse me, a quarter cup, and then I put two tablespoons of peanut butter on that. So this is the first time I've tried this since my, hold on. Sorry, this is the first time that I've tried this since my um, wisdom teeth, but I just feel like I'm struggling to get some good protein in, so I'm going to try, I don't... I actually don't think I'm gonna do the peanut butter. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, what am I doing? I clearly can't talk to you guys at the same time. I was gonna, about to measure out a whole nother quarter cup. So I'm just going to, I'll show you what they look like after I make them, they just look like pancakes, but um, I'll show you what the two, what the size of them look like. Um, but I just am afraid to put peanut butter in my mouth, quite honestly. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, the peanut butter just adds a few more calories and um, obviously some more protein and some good fat to you. Or you can use almond butter, whatever your little heart desires. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do real quickly here just before I head back in my office. I thought I would do it. And I'm, <laughs> I decided I was cold, so I put this sweater over the sweater that I'm wearing. And um, I turned the heat up, but I don't know. I told Bob, I really think that I need my other hand for this. I really think that our furnace is on its last legs. And the guy had kind of told us that. But, um, so, you know, we're prepared and have budgeted to replace it. But the, it seems to be taking a really long time to go from 60 to 68, which is what I move it up to during the day. So, anyway. All right, I'm going to make my pancakes and I'll show you what they There's look like. There's the size of the two. You can see that. And I, um, because I decided not to use peanut butter, I did, I need to get, hold please, I need to get these off. I was washing dishes and not paying attention, so they are, they are done and I really don't want them to burn. Uh, nobody likes to burn pancake. Anyway, I used some coconut oil to add the good fat and I don't, I don't use that a lot, but I just put maybe about a half a teaspoon in there, something like that, um, to add a little bit of good fat and a few more calories since, since I'm struggling a little bit currently to get in all my calories. So that is what it looks like. I will just go ahead and eat them like this. Um, I do have sugar-free syrup that I put on them sometimes, but, um, if I don't use the, um, peanut butter or almond butter, but I'm just feeling like dry is the way that it's going to go this time. All right, you guys, <clears throat> I was just on a very long conference call, and so I was making some toffee while I was listening to the conference call. thought I would show you my current toffee setup. Just, I am at the stirring constantly point here. So I've had a lot of questions lately. This happens every year. Everybody asks for me to do a video or, you know, do I have a video on this? I don't, you guys. I don't, there's, I, I don't know how to do a video when all it is is stirring constantly. That's legit all there is to it. So I'm going to give you the lowdown on the toffee once again. So it is one pound of butter, two cups of brown sugar. That's it. That's the whole recipe. Um, you put it in here and you stir pretty I just stir constantly from the beginning. You get it to 300 degrees and then you pour it in a pan like that. Hopefully you guys can see. Yes, you can. Um, that I've sprayed with a little bit of uh, cooking spray and let it cool and then you crack it into pieces and dip it. I use dark chocolate. I actually use dark confectioner coating. Oh, apparently that was the wrong number. I didn't recognize the number anyway. Um, dark confectioner coating and I use that because milk chocolate I think is just too sweet for as sweet as this is. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's it. One pound of butter, two cups of brown sugar, Stir constantly until you get to 300 degrees and pour it in a pan. That's all there is to it. So, um, on that note, I'm going to just keep stirring here. <laughs> all right. I am. I have a list of calls I'm going to make on my way to Green Bay. It's the beautiful thing about, whoops, about working. Let me see you guys right here. 
about um, working from home, whatever, I can pretty much work wherever. Oh, I stuck it in my pocket. So I'm just going to put my lip back on and thought I would show you guys quickly what I put on my eyes today in case you were curious. Uh, it is the Estee Lauder by Violet La Dangerous Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the one in, hold on, it says on the back of it. It is in Amour Amour. You gotta have to say it like that. So it's this one right here. And I used this all over my crease. This one, or no, this all over my lid, this in the crease, and then deepen things up with this one and beneath my lower lash line. I did grab a random black to go right at my lower lash line after I tight lined. And then on my cheeks today, I used Dainty by MAC. And on my lips, this is, actually let me put it on and then I'll tell you. Okay. Actually, it was a longer break than you know I went and brushed my teeth first because I'm going to the dentist. So you gotta brush your teeth, the last thing you do before you leave your house. Anyway, well, you don't have to. That's what I choose to do. So, um, Boldly Bear Lip Liner from MAC. And then this is one of those Doll Pen Duos. I don't know if they still have them anymore, but the lipstick shade is in Doll Code, which is this one. And then this is the lip gloss, and it's in Miss Bliss, I think. Yep, Miss Bliss, so just kind of a nice nude lip. Um, let me turn off this light. And I will show you outfit of the day here. Uh, let me stick this right here so I don't forget. Um, not that it's super exciting. This sweater, I don't know if I can find it anywhere online. I wore it. Um, Cotton Country, I think is the brand name. It says Emily on it. I don't really know. I'll, if I can find it anywhere online, I will link it below for you guys. But it's just a really cozy big old sweater and this is in a size large so they would say they run a little bit big um these camo or the my new camo pants that i got from lane bryant a couple months back and these are those tom's boots i got in my trunk a while back and yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm wearing these are i think these are still in dot earrings i got a long time ago so i have everything from here <laughs> yes i do so I'm going to grab a jacket. I probably won't wear it, but I'm going to grab a jacket and stick it in the back of the car and put in some perfume and I'm going to go. All right, you guys. So I'm home from the surgeon. I'll give you the update, but I just thought I would let this one say hello. Hello, everyone. What did, what did your amazing wife bring you for dinner? Wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> I texted him and I said, hey, I'm going right by b Do you want me to bring wings for dinner? What was your text back to me? Why do you even have to ask? Yeah. <laughs> Why even ask? <sighs> Spoiled that one. And then I walk in. He knows I'm bringing him wings. I walk in and he's got this, the tree doing that, which he knows I can't stand. But anyway. And I will show you, obviously I've not switched over to it yet, but I did get um, a new vlog camera. This is exactly like the one that I have, but obviously newer and hopefully won't have the focusing situation. This camera is just, I mean, I've probably you've been using this one for at least three years. And it's just been through the ringer, you know. It's been dropped, it's been chucked, it's been thrown, and the battery doesn't hold the charge anymore either. So it's just fine. This one will become the backup or the one that Bob will take if he goes someplace and chooses to bring a camera. So I have to be at church at six o'clock, it's 5.15. So I'm gonna eat a couple of these, I'm gonna try anyway, <laughs> we'll see, to eat a couple of these wings. He likes the, um, oh, this is the, he likes the spicy garlic um, and the Parmesan garlic and I, I'll eat the Parmesan garlic. So that's what's going on here. We actually, it's from Kirsten, from It's Kirsten that we learned about Parmesan garlic because I don't think we had ever tried it before she um, before she told us about this. So anyway, I'm going to just have a couple of those and then when I come back, we'll, we'll, I'm going to have one of those and see how it goes. So as an update, I don't have a dry socket up top, which is, I thought I did, but I don't. She said, it's, look, it's look, <sighs> take a breath shall we she said it looks a little bit red but nothing that she, she said these side look great which is awesome 
And this one, unfortunately, I'll show you what she sent me home with. She couldn't get, um, she couldn't get the packing in there right. <laughs> and she's like, rather than torture you. So she sent me home with this syringe to like clean it out with. And then this goes in there to like help. <laughs> I, I have a feeling it's that clove stuff that the other one's lined with. So anyway. That's what they sent me home with, so we'll see. I'm really scared to eat, quite honestly. I might, I maybe won't. I don't know. But that's what's happening. So I'm going to uh, camera my purse so that I take along with me. I'll show you. I'll probably put it behind music, but I'll show you what um, uh, myself, Heidi, and then one of the other guys from church are doing at church. We're just getting the, I'm going to go get my stapler before I forget. We are taking candy canes, the little small ones, and stapling them to cards that I think just say the address of the church and maybe a little verse or something. I'm not sure exactly. And where is my stapler? Oh, here. I was getting out my stapler. I have like a hand one too, but I don't know where I put that one. Anyway, I thought, oh, I better grab some staples. This is all that I have for staples, this little teeny tiny... Oh, I need some Advil, I can tell you guys right now. My jaw hurts. So, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming that we may have staplers there. I don't know. I just thought it would be safe to bring and bring my own stapler. So, a little, we're going to staple the candy cane to the little card. And so, I don't know how long it's going to take us or how many we have to do. But, um, it's so funny to me. I have like this total other stand-up stapler. I have no idea where it is. All right, I'm gonna go and I'm not gonna eat those wings. I've already talked myself out of it. I'm going to have protein shakes.